pleasure to introduce the president of Ishmael Dow High School, Dr. Stephen Phelps. Bishop Larry Silva, honored guests, regents, Mr. Salamak, faculty, parents, guardians, friends, and most especially the members of our 56th graduating class. First of all, congratulations, class of 2010, and congratulations to all the parents, grandparents, relatives, teachers, counselors, coaches, and all the people who have helped bring you to this graduation. With 297 members, you are the largest and perhaps the most talented graduating class in our school's history. What evidence do we have of your talents? I will begin with the universities that you will attend in the fall. On the East Coast, you have been admitted to Georgetown, Brown, Yale, Princeton, MIT, Boston College, Fordham, Howard, NYU, Penn, and Annapolis, to name just a few. Moving to the Midwest and South, you will attend Notre Dame, Loyola Chicago, Northwestern, the University of Chicago, Duke, Emory, Old Miss, St. Edwards in Austin, Tulane, and other universities. The majority of you will stay on the West Coast, attending Stanford, Santa Clara, Caltech, USF, USC, Seattle, Oregon, Washington, St. Mary's, Lyle Marymount, Claremont, colleges, Pepperdine, and every college in the California State College System. What is most impressive is that nearly 60% of you, or about 170, have been admitted to a UC campus. A higher percentage than any public Catholic high school in the UC. More than 100 of you have been admitted to the four UC campuses that are among the most selective universities in the world. They accept only about 18% of their applicants. UC Berkeley, UC Davis, UCLA, and UC San Diego. You have millions of dollars in academic and athletic merit scholarships and grants will help you and your parents afford these great schools. About 10% of you will make the wise financial choice of attending a junior college and then transferring in junior year to a UC or a state college, increasing even further the numbers of O'Dowd graduates able to afford a great college education. Academic talent is not enough for graduates of Bishop O'Dowd High School. We send you to college with great confidence in your future because we have evidence that you have grown in the core values of our terrorism, which reads, finding God in all things calls us to community and diversity, strength of character, kinship with creation, social justice, and joy. What evidence do we have of how you have done in building community and diversity? You have used your diverse talents, personalities, skills, beliefs, and intellects to lead our school in one of the most impressive range of accomplishments for any high school in the Bay Area. These achievements are only possible with teamwork and diverse communities. Your admission to great universities have been supported by your achievement in mock trial, close-up, speech and debate, environmental science, and robotics. This spring, we have witnessed your accomplishments in the visual and performing arts through your excellence in the Alonia Festival, Sweeney Todd, and the stirring performances of our jazz bands, orchestra, and chorus. We will always treasure the breadth and depth of your athletic achievements. Your record number of league titles, North Coast section championships, and second place finishes grew yesterday when our softball team won its second consecutive NCS championship. <laughs> Finally, the leadership and excellence the senior class and the senior campus ministry team have brought to our liturgies, service learning, and Kairos and senior retreats are testimony to our diverse creator, living and working in and through each of you. Where is the evidence for strength of character? That is much harder to measure because we have no strength of character trophies. Suffice it to say that your level of achievements in academics, the arts, athletics, campus ministry, and forensics can only occur in the presence of strength of character. 
Kinship with creation, like diversity, has layers of meaning. The creation of a more just and sustainable future is one of our charism's lifelong challenges to each of you. You have made a promising start with your support for our living land, carpooling, and in protecting the earth. We have ample evidence that you've promoted social justice, logging more than 40,000 documented hours in service to our community, mostly in our service learning program, and then in our immersions that serve the poor abroad and in America, and in the Key Club, the Eye to Eye program, and the tutoring. Your service has been equivalent to 20 full-time people working for a year in serving those in need, and you have contributed more than $15,000 to the poor. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, there is no better evidence for your joyfulness than what we witnessed Friday night in our baccalaureate mass at the Cathedral of Christ the Light, where Father Jay, you, and a thousand of your parents, relatives, and our faculty and staff celebrated, gave thanks, and prayed about the years we have had with you. Finding God in you has brought all of us great joy. I want to close my remarks with two yearbook quotes of your classmates that in my experience represent how you have lived your four years at Bishop Ladat High School. This from two of your classmates, and I am sure from all of you who have ever played baseball or softball for us. Never let fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. And a second, from one of the brightest members of your class. True terror is to wake up one morning and discover that your high school class is running the country. <laughs> On behalf of the entire ODAT community, I want to thank each of you for making ODAT a great community of many parts. I pray you will nourish your friendships with each other and with ODAT, and that you will share your core values with the new communities into which you are dispersing. You are ready, and you are as ready as any 18-year-olds can be. You will always be dragons. Thank you for the joy you have brought to us.